so Ibu, I think we can see from the black eye that how much of a physical contest Saturday was. How how did it feel for you out there? Uh, to be fair, I got a black eye. It's all worth it now because obviously you got three points at the end of it. But yeah, it was a tough game and it wasn't easy, of course. So you have to be patient. And it was well worth the way off the junior coming on and scoring the winner, so which is really good. And like I said, it's all worth worth it now. I've got a black eye. Two last two games, you started both of them. How's that felt and how does it feel to be in a round two? Uh, it felt good, to be fair. Obviously, you had to wait two weeks. I had to just be patient, really. And my time, I just think it's taking an opportunity when it comes, really. And I've enjoyed it. I've, and I've hopefully can continue to run. I suppose you knew when you came here that there was going to have to be that patience, wait for your opportunity. I think the manager's also said it's all down to the game. He picks the players based on who we're playing. Yeah. So it's going to be important for those physical battles that you're in there and, and putting yourself about. Yeah, like I said, the manager's got the best decision, to be fair. He knows when, when to play, which players to play and when to play them. And to be fair, the team is really strong. Like, um, you've got good competition, Mortz, Dawson, Winnie, so... It's really good, and it's good to be it's healthy competition, really, isn't it? And and I'm good good mates with them. And I think it gives a good uh, gap a good headache. And is it nice in training as well to be learning off these players, especially like Winnie and Dawson, who are experienced pros now yeah. at this level? I'm, I'm always learning, and what's even better is that we, we get along quite well. And I'm just learning from everyone, Mortz, uh, Winnie, and Dawson. So I just add it to my game, really, and it makes it easier because then when I'm playing with them, I know what they're going to do. Like obviously, left, they're left one's left footed and the other two are right footed, so it's, it's it's a plus for me, really. To be fair, how are you finding the step up to League Two level? Have you seen an improvement in quality? I think uh, I've improved quite a lot. Obviously, obviously, there's a lot of things I would have done in the league below. I'd probably get a lot of yellow cards, a lot of fouls, but I, like I said, I'm learning as it comes. Really, I'm still young and I'm enjoying it, so I'm pretty good. Hopefully, I can carry on learning, take me further already. I think one thing that's really surprised me about you from your performances is your pace. I mean, there's been times where I thought, no, he's not getting that ball, or he's not getting back to track that, and you're, you're there, you're there quicker than them. Talk about your game and what fans may have seen about you, that pace, that physicality. Um, to be fair, that game, I looked at myself, I thought, after the game, I thought, wow, I thought it was sharp at times. Okay. But yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what you're going to expect, um, expect from me. So me winning the ball back, me being quick to win it, and getting on it and passing like I enjoy it I just I enjoy being involved in the game at every moment of the 90 minutes or night plus five or it's it's really good for me and you expect me to give 110 percent regardless and like I said I feel I feel powerful <laughs> yeah, <laughs> enough, yeah. Good, good thing to hear. Yeah. Um, it was also nice when I was putting out together the program for the weekend in the ambassadors section so the young kids at the ground um, one of them put you as down as their favorite player does that show the impact you've already had in just, just such a short place of time? Is that nice to hear? <laughs> to be fair, when I was, obviously I knew I, was, uh, I saw the team sheet and I was starting and to open the programme and see that put a smile on my face, I think that gave me a bit of confidence. Mm. And it's it's um, it's a plus for me, so I'm, I'm quite happy and I'm having an, a positive effect on the fans, which is good. And like I said, they're, they're unbelievable, they have a great support and may continue really. Tough games keep coming though, Port Vale away tomorrow night. They've drawn each of their games, won all at the moment. Um, so it just shows they're going to be a, a tough side to break down. A bit like Grinsby, you're going to have to be patient. Yeah, like I said, they take every game as it comes, really. And like it's not not every game in this league is going to be tough. It's more what you put to the table and three on the day. We're a better team, better team than them. And hopefully, come over three points. And like you said, games that you got Portville Tuesday, Bradford Saturday is just, it's coming thick and fast, isn't it? So Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But yeah, it's just take it. The, game by game and, and see how it comes and because of the the quick games is that show even more importance in the squad you've all got to be ready when you're needed for, for those moments like mm. as, junior was at the weekend yeah as you can see uh i didn't play the first two games and then i've come in and, and done what i could and gaffer calls upon the subs like taylor allen and junior mondal to come in and score the winning goals it just shows like gaffer can he relies on everyone not just the 11 that starts or some of the guys are not in the squad, he relies on everyone and you've got really to be called upon. Well, it's been a great start and uh, let's hope it continues up at Vale Park tomorrow night. Looking forward to it.